When buying a gaming monitor in 2023, you'll come across three main panel types, TN, IPS, and VA. But what are these and how do they affect your gaming experience? In this video, we're going to compare the strengths and weaknesses of each of these panel types and help you decide which one's best for your gaming needs. Let's get started. In short, a TN or Twisted Pneumatic panel is good for gaming, and not much else. Compared to the other panel types, TN's key advantage is its low response times, or at least it used to be the case. A few years back, if you wanted the lowest response time, you would have had to go to TN. Nowadays, however, there are fast IPS panels out there that go toe to toe with even the best TN panels. The same can be said for refresh rates. TN once had the fastest refresh rates of all the panel types, pushing up to 240 hertz comfortably, while IPS and VA were stuck at 144 hertz for the most most part, but now it's the IPS that's the fastest. And what you gain in speed on a TN panel, you lose in color. TN is notorious for its narrow viewing angles and muted color reproduction. So TN is not ideal for color critical work like video editing and content creation. Even if you're a little bit off axis, a TN panel will appear washed out and show some nasty color inversions too. A high end TN monitor fares better in this regard, but it'll still be weaker than an entry level IPS monitor. For those who want that competitive edge in esports titles and aren't worried about how their game looks, then a TN monitor is a decent if outdated option. As IPS and VA panels have gotten so good nowadays, TN panels aren't as necessary for gaming as they once were. Head on over to eBuyer and you'll see that IPS and VA monitors have clearly taken over the gaming monitor market, though TN monitors still tend to be the cheapest. It wasn't too long ago that the fastest gaming monitors almost exclusively used TN panels, hitting high refresh rates and low response time to boot. But as of late, IPS or in-plane switching technology has advanced considerably, to the point where modern fast IPS panels have caught right up to the speeds of a TN. Now you'll find that the fastest gaming monitors on the market all leverage the latest IPS panels, boasting ridiculously fast refresh rates of up to 360Hz. There are even some 500Hz IPS monitors in the pipeline for 2023. That's over three times as fast as your standard 144Hz monitor. Although, whether it's needed is a question for another video. Nonetheless, it's clear that if you want the best when it comes to refresh rate, IPS is now the way to go. Cheap IPS monitors might use last generation panels with slow response times, however, in which case, you'd be better off with a TN for competitive gaming. Response times are an area which historically IPS lacked, but modern panels have improved upon a huge degree. So if you're thinking of picking up an IPS monitor, make sure it's got a fast IPS panel with decent response times to match its refresh rate. Even if you aren't some pro level gamer, IPS panels offer advantages over TN and VA panels, most notably in their superior color reproduction. These days, most monitors can cover sRGB decently enough, the different color space used by Windows and most content. If you're after a monitor that's more suitable for color critical work, one that can cover the wider spaces like DCI P3, then IPS is your best choice. And with the majority of IPS panels delivering wide 178 degree viewing angles, color shifting and inversion is practically non-existent. This leaves VA or vertical alignment as the last panel type. And it's a bit of a compromise between TN and IPS. Although the viewing angles of a VA panel aren't quite as good as an IPS, they're certainly better than a TN. You'll find that most VA monitors on the market are curved anyway, ensuring you're getting an optimal viewing angle of your monitor. These curved VA panels also make a great choice if you're putting together a multi-monitor gaming setup. And when it comes to contrast ratios, VA is by far the best out of all three panels. While the very best IPS monitors currently top out at 1500 to 1 contrast ratio, with the average being more around the 1000 to 1 mark, your run-of-the-mill VA monitor likely has at least 3000 to 1 contrast ratio. It's not hard to find VA panels benching 4000 to 1 or even 5000 to 1 contrast ratio, placing them well ahead of the other panel types. TN panels fare even worse than IPS panels, often with sub 1000 to 1 contrast ratios. Put simply, the higher the contrast ratio, the deeper the black levels. Not only does a higher contrast ratio improve image quality with deep shadows, it's also important if you like to use your monitor in a dark environment. With weaker contrast ratios, IPS monitors can appear to glow around the edges of their screens, and their blacks look more like dark greys. This is distracting if you're playing a horror game with a light switched off or watching a movie with black bars. While VA panels offer higher immersion to cinematic AAA games with a rich contrast ratios, cheaper VA monitors are often held back by their sluggish response time. The end result are these trailing lines behind fast moving objects known as black smearing. And um, you'll notice it on weapon models and first person shooters as you flick your mouse around for instance. So these cheaper VA monitors aren't a great option if you mainly play twitchy, fast paced games, which rules out a lot of popular esports titles. If you want these high contrast ratios without the low response times, there are high-end VA monitors that exhibit minimal black smearing. Though, for some, any amount of black smearing is too much. On the whole, we'd say VA panels are great for more casual users who do a little bit of everything on their monitor. 
gaming, content creation, watching movies, though steer clear if you're a competitive gamer. Black smearing on VA panels on account of their slow response times can make things messy when playing fast paced games at high frame rates. With the fastest refresh rates available today, response times right up there with TM panels and vivid colors, IPS panels are great all rounders for gaming. What's more, IPS monitors can pull double duty for content creation with fantastic color reproduction. Perfect if you're looking to stream or make YouTube videos on the side. While they're getting better, IPS contrast ratios leave a lot to be desired compared to even cheap VA panels. A TM monitor will likely be the cheapest option available. With the low response times, TM panels still offer a decent gaming experience, even if they don't look all that great. If you can still stretch your budget even a little bit, however, we'd recommend an IPS or VA monitor instead. They'll give you a more well-rounded experience. As you can see, there's no best panel type. TN, IPS, and VA all have their strengths and weaknesses. Which one you choose is all down to personal preference. So have a think about what genres of games you play most and prioritize based on that. Once you've evaluated what you use your monitor for most, the choice should become easier. Let us know if you've got any questions down in the comments and don't forget to leave a like if you found this video helpful. We'll see you in the next video.